Ekatsai Jerakul. Yes. Welcome to Finland. Yes, thank you. And welcome to Radio Classic. We are proud to have you here. Me too, yes. And uh, so you're from Thailand. Right, I'm from Thailand, but at the moment I'm living in Austria, Salzburg. Ah, oh, I yes. see, okay. Uh, tell us, uh, how did you become a guitarist? Well, uh, I became a guitarist because I'm, I was fascinated in classical guitar when I was 13 years old. And on that time, I was playing a trumpet in the band. And then I changed to the guitar because I think the guitar could play more sound, you know, because trumpet, we could play only one tone, but guitar, we play the chord and the bass and the melodies in the same time. So mm. that's why I learned the guitar. Mm. Uh, we don't know so much uh, about uh, music life in Thailand. Tell us, uh, is guitar so common in Thailand? Well, actually, we do have many kinds of guitar in Thailand. And actually, the guitar is one of the most famous instruments, I mean, in, in the whole world, for mm. example. And also in Thailand, we do have like electric guitar and then, uh, let's say, acoustic guitar. But classical guitar, we also have a little society which is teach our like for learning special like classical music and also special in classical guitar yeah we do also have that kind of thing in Thailand mm. um, now when you have uh, moved to Europe and you have been studying here uh, do you think it has affected to your music yes a lot because I think the music is not only learning from the technique or the, the music but it's I mean it's about the interpretation about the culture of European people. I'm living in the birthplace of Mozart, which is like the god of classical music. So I get inspiration from the, the where he living, he was living, or the, the culture or the, the atmosphere of that country. So it's, it's affect to my music a lot, actually, mm. yes. Mm. Tell us a little bit about the song that you played previously. What was it? And well, this is the call Recordadora Hambra from the Spanish composer Francisco Tarrega. Uh, he was one of the most famous uh, romantic uh, music composer for the guitar. And I think that music is one of the most famous for classical music, classical guitar especially. Because that he tried to uh, tell the story about the Alhambra, the, I mean, very, very uh, uh, important place in Granada. So he tried to explain on his music. So mm. it's very famous. Yes. Mm. Um, could you say that you have, uh, do you have a, f a favorite composer of guitarists? Yes, I do have also Francisco Tarrega, mm. one, one of the most famous, and uh, also my favorite composer also. Yes, yes, yes. yes. all right. Um, do you have any idols or someone you look up to? Uh, for example, in the guitar, also John Williams, he also went off one of the most a famous person and also important for me because I was, I mean, to be honest, I learned from his CD a lot, you know. I was mm. uh, listening on his CD and try to copy his sound first and then learn on his way a lot. So John Williams is one of the idols for me. Mm. Uh, when you go on stage and you perform in front of the live audience, uh, what is the best part of, uh, wh what do you get when you perform live? Well, uh, I think after the concert, I saw the people was smiling and enjoy my music. I think that's the most important part. Before the concert, of course, I feel so nervous. But after I go to the stage and then after I finish the piece and they give me like cheers or give me that I'm very good. So they're happy with my music. So then I'm happy. So you're nervous before the concert? Yes, but after, <laughs> when they enjoy my music, then my nervousness go down. You know. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you think uh, this nervousness, uh, is it, uh, uh, can you ever get rid of, rid of this nervousness? I think no, we, can, we could not, because like, the part of human, I mean, it's normal that you go to a state and you feel nervous. I mean, I think even when I'm nervous, I get better on my performance because I'm more focusing on that. Mm, yes. Uh, tell us a little bit uh, about your instrument that we saw. What, where was it made and uh, who made it? Uh, my guitar was made by Australian guitar maker, Greg Smallman. He's also one of the most famous guitar makers in the world. 
also John Williams used the same instrument, the same maker. Actually, it's quite new. I just got it last month. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's quite brand new guitar. Do you have uh, many guitars, actually? I do have. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, how do you choose your instrument? Uh, how uh, how do you choose it when you play it? Uh, actually, I do have many kind of guitar. Like we call traditional guitar and modern. This one is one of the most modern guitar. So the maker try to build more bigger sound and more project in when we perform in the big hall. Well, when I select the guitar, I try to have both. You know, I have also the traditional sound, very nice, but not so loud as this one. I mean, this one is more powerful. So when I perform on the big stage, there will be no problem about the sound. Mm. Do you think nowadays uh, there is enough repertoire for guitar? Do you think there's enough? I think we do have a lot, and I think enough for my whole life. I mean, I don't know for another guitarist, but for me, it's enough for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What type of uh, music do you perform uh, mostly? Uh, do you like your Do you like modern or this kind of traditional style? Uh -huh. uh, I try to combine all the style when I perform under my program. Actually, if you saw on my program, I will have the variety of the program, like from the first period, like Renaissance music or Baroque, until the modern style, so the people could enjoy in different style. But for my opinion, I prefer to play romantic music because it's more in, into the music, you know, more easy to listen, more enjoy, mm. let's say. Okay. Thank you so much for this visit. Yes, and thank you very uh, much. I, I wish you luck for the future. Thank you very much.